everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I'm going to take you for a quick look around the upper deck and cockpit of this Moody 31 to give you an idea of her layout, what's fitted and if she might be the one for you. So as you can see, I'm standing on the port forward side of the cockpit looking down and uh, you can see that the cockpit uh, looks really nice and wide, plenty of room and plenty of seating as well. Uh, in general, the, the upper deck of this boat looks quite nice and white. I can see a few footprints at the moment, but uh, I'm sure that's not a problem but uh, we can see we've got nice high combings here around the side of the cockpit so we're going to be feeling like we're we're inside the boat a little bit so um, away from the uh, the elements so to speak we can see that we've got uh, two winches fitted non-self tailed the uh, the main sheet here looks a little bit ropey if you could excuse the pun sorry um, but i think that that could probably do it uh, we've got the fuel filler cap here and if we just make our way into the cockpit i'll just over here and look forward uh, we've got a, a nice sizable cockpit locker here engine throttle located to the starboard side and we've got the um the tiller steering here nice gas bottle uh, storage out of the way here so that's your gas locker and uh generally generally speaking the companion way is just to hop over the uh the uh the step there and into the interior really nice really really uh, easy to hop about on this boat so we'll uh, we'll just move along the starboard side and take a look so here's the uh the spray hood i think there's some life left in this spray hood i'll definitely say that uh, she'd benefit from a valet as with the sail cover although i think the sail cover could probably do with being replaced but uh, the sail as well would need a valet i think but coming along the starboard side it's nice and easy to get down here so we're not really hopping over anything and we've got uh, feeling quite secure inside the guard rails and then it's uh, a lean forward to catch hold of the coach roof uh, rail there if we want to grab hold of something plenty of room on the coach roof there so room to sit we've got a hatch for the uh, saloon down below as well and uh, nice and easy to, tra to traverse along the starboard side bit of a swing inside the uh, shrouds but that's nice and easy or you can just step up like i'm doing uh, onto the coach roof and then step back down again if you want to or just carry on walking down the slope of the coach roof which brings us to the foredeck so as you can see we've got a hatch here which uh, gives light and air down to the forward cabin and the foredeck is really nice and uncluttered so um, you, you know you could occupy this this space at sea in, in the right weather conditions obviously but generally speaking um, nice and uncluttered and easy to get around we've got the anchor in its roller there um, we've got uh, underneath here let's have a look in the anchor locker there we go so we've got an electric windlass as well with the the foot switches here which is absolutely nice and uh, we've got uh, furlex uh, furling there so um, all set up for easy sailing now if you just turn and look aft along the coach if you can see again nice and uncluttered nice and bright there's a few marks here and there but uh, nothing that's a little bit of elbow elbow grease couldn't work out really nice long spinnaker pole or foresail pole here sitting there waiting for use and uh, let's return back to the cockpit via the port side. So I'm walking up, up the coach roof, nice and easy. We've got a textured deck grip there and a step down after the shrouds back to the cockpit. So this has been Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers, just taking you for a quick tour around the upper deck of this Moody 31. If you'd like any more information, just go to berkshirebrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.